Here is the formula to calculate the present value of an ordinary annuity with all of the variables listed. We're going to go through how to input this formula into Excel. As an example, let's say that someone expects to receive an $8,000 annuity for the next three years. Interest is 8% annually, and the payments are received at the end of the year, so this is an ordinary annuity. What is the present value of the annuity? We're going to put the answer in cell B8, so we left-click on cell B8, so it is highlighted. Next, we type in an equal sign, then following the formula, we left-click on the payment amount, cell B2. From here, we type in a multiplication sign, which is Shift-8 on the keyboard. Next, we type in an open parenthesis, and then we type in a 1. From here, we type in a minus sign, then another open parenthesis. Next, we type in a 1, then we type in a division sign, which is a forward slash in Excel. From here, we type in two open parentheses. Then we type in another one. Next, we type in an addition sign, followed by another open parentheses. Now we need to left click on the rate, cell B3. Then type in another division sign. From here, we need to left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4. Then we type in two closed parentheses. Next, we type in a to a power symbol, or caret sign, which is shift 6 on the keyboard. And then we type in another open parentheses. Now we need to left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4. Then type in a multiplication sign. Next, we left click on the time, cell B5. And then we type in four closed parentheses. From here, we type in a division sign, followed by an open parentheses. Next, we left click on the rate, cell B3. Then type in another division sign. Next, we left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4, and then we type in a close parenthesis to close off the function. And finally, we can hit the enter key, and we have our answer of $20,616.78 rounded off. And here's this problem written out by hand. You can see we do get the same answer. And here is another example where n, the number of compounding periods, is not 1. Here it is 4, and I'll hit the enter key, and we get $10,312.12 as the present value of the annuity. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.